Hello everybody and welcome to the Grange Head Teacher Video Assembly for the last week of the Autumn 1 2020 half term. You know who I am, Mr. Kerbal, your head teacher. And we know what we are aiming for at Grange. Well, we have the CC way. We want to have a great caring attitude. We always want to be trying our best. We always want to be learning, especially from our mistakes. We're not scared to make mistakes. We just learn from them and then we get even stronger and better. We always want to improve and make progress. We don't worry too much about being better than anybody else. We just want to be the best that we can be. So we always want to improve on ourselves. We see school as a place where we can learn or we need to learn to help us to make great choices as we go through life and we never give up. So we've been talking a lot about wisdom. Do you remember wisdom? We said wisdom was really thinking about things. So you don't just rush in and just do whatever you just feel like doing. You think about what's the best thing to do. What's going to be kind? What's going to be caring? What's going to be something that makes everything better. We think about what we are going to do. And when we think deeply, when we really, really think that's wisdom. So we said that if you want to grow your wisdom, then if you love learning, then that's going to help you with your wisdom. Because if you love learning, you're always going to be learning more and more. And if you learn more and more, it will help you with your wisdom. And today we're going to talk about being curious. So, have a look at this image. Have a look at it. Have a look at it. What does it make you think of? So let's ask teacher or educator, ever showing you this video, pause the video over here. Or if you're watching it yourself, pause the video over here and have a think. What does this image make you think of? So, we said we are going to talk about curiosity. So if somebody has curiosity, that means they are curious. They are really curious and they live their life with the power of curiosity. What does that mean? Well, it could mean that you have an open mind. Now, having an open mind means you're not the kind of person who just says, well, I know everything. I know what I think and I don't need to listen to anybody else because I know what I think. Having an open mind means, well, let me hear what somebody else has got to say. Let me hear or let me read some more about this so that I can always maybe learn more. So an open mind means I'm willing to learn more. I'm curious. Maybe I can find out some more, something that I didn't know before. So it could mean having an open mind. It could also mean asking lots of questions. Now, I know you are brilliant at asking questions, but sometimes we feel a bit shy or sometimes we, we don't make enough of an effort to ask really, really good questions. Questions that help us to open up the subject matter so that we learn more. So don't be shy. Ask lots of questions. Remember to listen to the answers that you get when you ask the questions. So don't just ask lots and lots and lots of questions without listening. But if you ask lots of questions and you're listening, it will help you to grow your wisdom and your curiosity. Now, also trying out new experiences. So I'm going to give you an example. I love learning Spanish. So that's like a new experience for me because I don't know Spanish. Sometimes a new experience can be a little bit embarrassing. Like if I want to try out my Spanish, it's new for me. So I'm not great at it yet. Not that good at it yet. So it could be a bit embarrassing. But the more I try, the more curious I am to learn and to try it out, the better I will get at it. So that will grow my wisdom. So trying out new experiences. Also, it's a lot of fun. You learn new things. You try out new things. You, you, you actually find out what you like. And also building on that exploring and finding out more about the world so when you try to actually find out more about the world then you, you it just becomes so interesting it's so amazing so if you're like an explorer and you just say well i want to find out more about this country i'm going to read up about it or i'm really interested in this subject i'm going to find out more about it well that's being curious and that helps you to grow your wisdom so you know that it's not enough to just 
learn about something, it's important to think, well, how can we actually practice that? How can we put it into action? So here are three powerful curiosity actions. Ask more questions. Be ready to learn more. You never know when you're going to learn. You know, you might hear something and say, wow, that sounds interesting. I want to learn more about that. Always be ready to learn more and enjoy trying out new experiences. Sometimes it's a little bit scary to try out a new experience, as I was saying before, but enjoy it. Really try it out. I love trying out a new sport. I love going somewhere where I haven't been before. I love trying out new experiences because it grows your wisdom and you really learn from everything. It's an adventure. We've got the Grange CC way. We know that we want to be confident. We want to look after ourselves. We want to be proud of ourselves. We want to really care about ourselves and we want to be considered. We want to look out for our beautiful world. We want to make the world a better place. We want to really take care of the world. We want to be considered about all the people that are around us. So we like lining up the CC way because if you line up the CC way, then you are ready to learn and you're ready to do well in whatever you're going to do. So remember your CC lining up really well. CC walking is brilliant because it means you walk proud, you walk tall, you walk confidently, but also you remember there are other people around you. They might be learning, they might be concentrating, and we just want our school to feel like a brilliant, great place. So we do CC walking. Now, stars of this week. Well, let's see. Nicole B, brilliant work. Omar, fantastic. Amea, brilliant. And Matisse class, the whole of you got gold. So when a whole class get gold, I'm not going to read out everybody's name. I'm just going to say for the whole class. So well done, Matisse class. I'm proud of you. And also, especially Matisse class, you logged so many more points this week. Well done. So the Grange House of Water, you got 2,196 points. That's a lot of points. Sarah G, a brilliant 20. Daisy, 21. Kaja, 22. Isra, 23. Zane, 25. Well done. Grange House of Fire, you got 1,961 points. So Kush got 25. Bathanan got 26. Bahar got 27. Well done. Grange House of Air. You got 1,882 points. Didat got 20. Kirat got 20. Manar got 21. Eram got 21. Dennis R got 23. And Kaylin 24. Well done. Grange House of Earth, 2,277 points. And Rashid got 21. Sarah A got 23. Izan got 45 points. That's a brilliant score. So the whole Grange community, we've got 8,316 points. And that's just brilliant. And let's see who the champion classes are. Well, well done, John Lennon class. You got 278 points. Well done, Picasso class, 324 points. Well done, Matisse class. I think it's the first time we've seen you here. 412 points. Brilliant. So pleased about that. And Rumi class, the champions, contributors with 446 points. Well done. So we've got 34,762 points in this autumn one half term, which is amazing because we said we were aiming for 21,000 points and 34,762 points. That's more than 21,000 points. So remember what we said? We said if we get 21,000 points, Freddie was going to make us a Grange YouTube channel video. And we're saying Freddie is ready. He's very proud of the children of Grange. That's all of you. And we're hoping that he'll even be able to pop into Grange for this Friday afternoon and visit the children. If he does that, you're going to need to be really quiet and calm, considerate. Because if he pops in, you have to behave really beautifully and consider considerately because he finds too much noise and fuss overwhelming. He's going to be with his mummy, Miss Edwards. And if you ask your teacher or your educator, ask the adult in your class, you can already watch Freddie's video on the Grange Primary Harrow YouTube channel, which he made specially for you. So be great, be Grange. Live your lives with confidence and consideration. Enjoy the week ahead. It's our last week of the autumn one half term 2020. So Enjoy your learning and really do brilliantly. Be safe and happy. Let's learn together. Let's respect each other. Let's achieve our potential. Let's be great. 
Let's be green.